guys, we're back again, and today I'm going to be focusing on Inning Spectacles, which is one of the um, reading lists that I put out on my introduction yesterday. I've decided to do that today because I think that Inning Spectacles is a really important play written by J.B. Priestley. Looked at in GCSE, it would really be beneficial to study it. So, learning outcomes, I'm going to put the learning outcomes up for you guys to see. To understand the plot of the play, to understand some of the themes in the play, and to understand how context has contributed to the events in the play. Before we even start looking at any of those, we need to understand what a theme is because we can't study themes in a play if we don't know what a theme actually is. So a theme is an idea that recurs in or pervades a work of art or literature. So it comes up more than once. So the difference between an idea and a theme is that an idea comes up once, whereas a theme recurs. For example, Mr. Burley, his actions and how it caused harm. Also another example, um, Sheila, her actions and how it caused harm and what effect it had on Eva Smith. And also Gerald, Eric. So the whole family as a whole, what they did and what their actions did um, to result in Eva Smith's death. That is a theme. And the difference between that and an idea is an idea will come up once and theme is something that will come up more than once. So I'm going to put some of the themes on the screen for you to see. There's more but we're going to be looking at some of these today. Now we're going to focus on what context is because it's important to actually know what context is as well. So I'm going to put the definition on the screen for you to see. Context is the situation within which something exists or happens and that can help explain it. It's background information which could be the time in, in which it was written, the author's life, the time in which it was set, events that happened during the time it was set or written, and these are all things that make up the context. Now that we know exactly what context is, now we need to learn a little bit about the context of this play. But the thing is about context, if we don't want to learn everything about the play or everything that happened in that time, it needs to be things that are specific to this play. So I'm going to put some on the screen for you to see. Inning Spectacles was written by J.B. Priestley in 1945. It was set in 1912. Priestley fought for England in the First World War. Inning Spectacles is an example of immediate post-war drama, which means that it was written after World War II. It is also a historical drama, as it is set in the run-up to the World War I. Inning Spectacles was set in Bramley, Northern England, and it shows the differentiation between upper and lower classes. So it is set in the run-up to World War I, but it's actually written after World War II, so it's a bit, try not to get those mixed up. These are important things to remember. So when you're doing context, or if, for example, if you're writing an essay and um, you need to include context, it's important to know everything you possibly can about context, so then you can put into your work. I know some people, they don't want to read spoilers or summaries and stuff because they want to read the play first and then kind of get to know what it's about. But I think it's better to know what you're reading. So um, even when I'm reading a book, for example, um, sometimes I do just read the book, but sometimes I do like to look up the summaries and stuff like that, just so I know exactly what it's about, so that I don't get too confused and stuff. What is the play about? An Inspector Calls is about a strange suicide that takes place and an inspector wants to get to the bottom of exactly what happens to cause this suicide. The inspector goes to a family household, which is the Burlings, and interrogates each family member to find out exactly what they did to contribute to the death of a young girl. As the play unfolds, it reveals devastating truths to what happened to the girl, who was named Eva Smith, and we are left with a spine-chilling cliffhanger. So that is exactly what the play is about. We'll go into a bit more detail um, with reading and stuff a little bit later, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the play is about so you know exactly what we're going to be doing. It's important to know who are the people who are actually in the play. So I'm going to show you a quick picture. So we've got Mr. Burling, Arthur Burling, his wife, Sybil Burling, um, we've got Inspector Gall and Eva Smith. Eva Smith is the young girl, also known as Daisy Renton later on in the play, um, that commits suicide. And Eric Burling is Arthur Burling and Sybil Burling's son and his sister, Sheila Burling. And we have Gerald Croft, who she's engaged, or well, she's engaged to at the beginning of Act One. They are competitors with Mr. Burling, so it's interesting to remember that because it's, um, when we're doing some character analysis, it's always key to remember that as well. It's really important to understand when it was written, when it was set, because there's such a differentiation. So if we look at um, 1912, when the play was actually set, we know that, one, the Titanic hadn't sunk yet, First World War hadn't started yet. 
that was a time which men and women were very divided it was a patriarchal society and men were seen as more powerful than women and there was a strong divide between upper class and low class society i don't want to go too much into too much detail about the play because i wanted to do that on another video but it's kind of important to look at certain things that mr berlin does say at the beginning of act one because he does mention the titanic um that is unsinkable absolutely unsinkable he doesn't think there's going to be another war by the time um gerald and sheila um, are old enough to have their own children and he does quote night uh, around the 1940s and we do know that obviously um 1939 was actually when world war ii happened so it's just a lot that kind of contributes that we need to kind of look into and the fact that um, Mr. Burling said um, it's absolutely unsinkable and I'll put these up for you to see as well it just shows that he doesn't really know what he's talking about does he? So here we've got some quotes um, the third quote I've got it on another um, slide which I'll make it a little bit bigger for you guys so the first one Mr. Berlin states, I'm talking as a hard-headed practical man of business and I say, there isn't a chance of war, the world's developing fast, developing so fast that it will make war impossible. So that is the quote that I was talking about. Just obviously crazy as we know that there is a World War One that happens after that. Um, and then he says that the Titanic is absolutely unsinkable when we know that the Titanic sunk and it sunk later on in 1912 and the quote that I was talking about earlier in 20 or 30 years time let's say in 1940 you might be giving a little party like this your son or daughter might be getting engaged and I tell you by what by that time you'll be living in a world that will have forgotten about all these capital versus labour agitations and all these silly little war scares and then the fact that he kind of quotes 1940 when World War II actually happens in 1939 it just kind of makes it seem like He's got all this knowledge that he thinks he knows, but obviously we know the truth because it really happened because it's a post-war drama. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to write down um, a minimum of five bullet points just explaining what you know about the play already. Um, I want you to pause this video and then I'm going to write down what I know. Okay, so what you could have had written down was um and inspector falls was written by david Priestley in 1945 it was set in 1912 um it's an example of a, an immediate post-war drama um meaning it was written after world war ii the inspector falls was set in bramley in northern england and also the play is about a young girl called eva smith who committed suicide and obviously now the family are being interrogated by an inspector called an inspector call so if you wrote any of those it's fine um you may have different ones as well and that's totally fine as well but if you did get any of those of those ones that i just put down well done okay guys so that was a quick video on the plot of the play understanding the themes and what themes are and what context is and to understand how context has contributed to events in the play um i hope this was useful what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my social media down below so that if you have any questions you can you can message me and get back to you as soon as possible and if you wanted anything in further detail um also don't hesitate to contact me as well or if there's anything i missed that you'd like to know also contact me um share this and like and subscribe and i hope this is useful take care bye